हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्यून इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो दिस इज ए पार्ट फाइव वीडियो वेयर आई विल बी कवरिंग अप क्वेश्चंस अबाउट योर पैच डिप्लॉयमेंट ट्रबल शूटिंग एंड द रिपोर्टिंग सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर इज द क्वेश्चन लिस्ट विच आई विल बी कवरिंग अप इन दिस वीडियो लाइक हाउ टू डिप्लॉय द सॉफ्टवेयर हाउ द सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट डिप्लॉयमेंट वर्क इन इंट्यून what is the windows update for business how to deploy the update ring how to deploy the features the quality updates in intune how to upgrade the operating system and what is the windows insider channels the patch deployment troubleshooting reporting and the finally auto patch so let's get started now here is a question number 1 how software update deployment works in intune so we do not require to download the patch locally so this is the uh, benefit we'll get with the intune so if we use the sscm obviously we need a wsus to download the locally patches and maintain it and uh, then we'll deploy to the end user device but when you are using the intune you do not require to download patch locally so patches will download directly from the microsoft windows update server on the device and no other the application needed to involve to deploy the patches so there is a only the one application in tune that will take care your the all the deployments but if we talk about the sscm so sscm uh, the wss will download the update from this microsoft windows update server and then it will sync up with your sscm and then you need to download it the locally then you have to distribute it so that's the long process but in intune this is the everything got reduce and directly this microsoft windows update server can push the patches to your devices so how this deployments work actually in the back end so first scanning will happen for your device what are the patches is required and only the required patches will download here and then it will installed and finally it's committed and the restart if it is the restart is required then it will pop up uh, the device is restart and it follow the process how you are deploy the patches so that's how the software update deployments work in intune now let's move it to the next question what is the windows update for business that is called wfb also so windows update for business will help you to keep your device up to date uh, so this windows update uh, i can say like like the wsus was involving in your sscm and the similar way the windows update for business entered into the intune so windows update for business let you control the update offering and the experience to allow the reliability and the performance testing on the subnet on of device before deploying the update across the organization so this is the additional features we can see in intune windows update for business can configure by the group policy or the intune so you can use it by the group policy either you can use the group policy or the intune as well so mdm can con uh, mdm use configuration service csp policies instead of the group policy so either you can use the group policy or the intune if you are using the intune then inside the intune that csp will come to the picture configuration service provider so intune the additionally uses the cloud policy so intune can use the additionally for the cloud policies as well so you can defa oppose the installation of update for a set of period of the time so you can any time you can pause or you can defer the updates for the certain periods so here is a quickly i write it uh, this answers but if you need the more details inside the in depth i have my the uh, another tutorial this microsoft intune so there you can watch that videos now here is another question how to deploy this update ring so basically all these patches deployments comes under the update rings so whenever you want to deploy the monthly patches you should have to use the update rings so in update ring can specify how and when the feature uh, features and the quality update will deploy so you have the screen uh, how you want to deploy it or when you want to deploy you can set up all these things by selecting the update rings 
सो न्यू फीचर एंड द क्वालिटी अपडेट इंक्लूड द कंटेंट ऑफ ऑल प्रीवियस अपडेट सो इफ यू आर सेलेक्टिंग द इफ यू आर डिप्लॉइंग इट सो योर ऑल प्रीवियस क्वालिटी एंड द फीचर्स अपडेट विल बी इंक्लूड योर द करेंट मंथ पैचेस अपडेट रिंग कैन ऑल्सो यूज फॉर द अपग्रेड योर द एलिजिबल विंडोज टेन डिवाइजेस टू द इलेवन सो हियर इज ऑप्शन लाइक अपग्रेड द विंडोज टेन डिवाइजेस to the latest windows 11 release so if we would like to update it from here or we have the another features that i will show you in the coming video and here is the options to select your the pre release channel that is a windows insider uh, beta channel and the dev channel as well so that is for how fastly you want to deploy your the patches and for in depth you can go uh, in my the youtube channel and uh, there you can find out how you can get it the details so this is like a quick answer to answering in the interview now how to deploy the feature update uh, feature update so what what is the feature update used so feature update uh, uh, feature updates for the windows 10 and the latter used for the upgrading the operating system so actually the feature update feature used to upgrade your the operating system so windows feature update policies work with your the update ring for the windows 10 and the latter policies to prevent a device from uh, receiving a uh, uh, receiving a windows feature version that later than the value specified in the feature update policy so basically it's don't get confused so feature update is used to upgrade your the operating system if you drop down from here you will get the certain operating system available from the microsoft so if you are running lower than the 22h2 then you can select the 22h2 version and uh, that operating system will be available uh to upgrade on the individual device so you can make it available as soon as possible you can make it at the specified date or you can make it the the gradually so that's the three option you can use it now the quality or expedite updates in intune so quality updates called expedite update or the zero day patch deployment so when any security uh, uh, when any patches is required to immediately deployed that comes under the expedite or quality update or uh, we can say like a zero day patch deployment so deployment of the expedited update is done with, uh, without the need of pause or editing your the existing monthly servicing update so might that patch is already include your the monthly patch so you no need to stop or pause your the monthly patch deployment you can just deploy it from here like by selecting the features here and you should have the microsoft th uh, this microsoft 365 f5 or e3 or the e5 license with your the intune license so if you are using the intune license like the ems5 microsoft uh, this uh, and uh, this endpoint security Uh, uh the mobility and the security e5 license but if you would like to use this quality update you should have the additional license like a uh, microsoft 365 e5 or microsoft 365 e3 license or the e5 license this is mandatory if you are using microsoft 365 e5 license then ems e3 or e5 license is not required because uh this e5 license microsoft 365 e5 license will cover up everything so here you can select your patches and uh, you can deploy as a zero day now let's move it to the next question how to upgrade the operating system so this is what the same thing i explained you in the feature update but the few of this uh, people are asking uh, in different way like how you can upgrade the operating system so operating system upgrade can be done by the feature update uh, uh, feature updates and that's why i i was showing you in the my previous slides now what is the windows insider channel so we have the three types of channel available like fast ring slow ring and the dev release preview ring so fast ring named as a dev channel slow ring as a uh, beta channel and the dev release channel is a released preview channel that is called so these are the three channels we have i shows you on this screen yes so when you deployed the update ring you should have to select uh, the your um, pre released channel type if you would like if not you can click on the not configured so these are the explanation for your all three channels so when you would like to 
like as a fast ring channel for the update ring you want to deploy it is a fast then go with the dab channel or the slow you can go for the better beta channel or you can select this so dab channel is especially for um, a ring for the highly technical users so if you have the highly technical users like the more uh, vip users so you can use the dab uh, dab channel so be the first to access the latest built earliest in the development cycle with the newest code so there will be a rough code uh, uh, rough age and the some uh, invisibility so these are the three channels where we can use it based on our speed or the requirement now the patch deployment troubleshooting so uh, this is like uh, very simple to understand the patch deployment inside the console so you need to log into the intune go to the devices and the monitoring report and then go to the software update feature in the updates so once you have here uh, you select this the failure you will get the all the failure devices and here is the deployment exit code here so based on the exit code you can search or you can find out the solution what is that so here is uh, i give an example like a disk full so how you will get it so add the disk full so might be disk is not having the proper space to install the patches and uh, the minimum disk space is required 10 gb if not you will get this disk space full error and here is the incompatible uh, error also so here i paste one url where you can see in all these error details whatever you seen it so it's not possible to cover up in this video for the all the errors but if you would like to see that i will paste this link in my video or description so from there you can see all these uh, errors which you will face in intune now reporting so after the deployment patch deployment you should get the reporting as well so you can go to the under the report tab login to the intune go to the report tab and here is a default summary what is the windows update preview so here you can get the in progress device success error and uh, you have the rollback cancelled or these are the certain uh, things here is the uh, profile name or the windows version and you will get the complete details if you need some more inside you can go click on the reports and then you will get the device name as well what is the status now so final question about the auto patch so recently this feature launched uh, with the auto patch name and so let's understand what it is so windows auto patch is a new service that automate the process of naming and rolling out the patches so so this is a like a new service released by the microsoft uh, where you can control your patches and the rolling out so basically if you want to use the auto patch you should have the minimum license enterprise e3 windows enterprise e3 license or the higher than it so you can continue using the tool and process you are used for the managing your deployment update uh, whatever you are using you can use it or you can take a handoff approach uh, approach and let the windows uh, auto patch do it for you so whatever patch deployment you are doing that can done uh, by the auto patch as well so suppose you are creating a update rings and uh, you don't want to create every month so you can let it be with the auto patch you can configure once in the auto patch and then every month auto patch will take care of it for you so this is a something new feature and this is not a mandatory to use in intune so we have our uh, update ring deployment you can use that or you can use the auto patch as well so windows auto patch applies update to your windows operating system and configure automatic update for office updates uh, of office applications either the, uh, the uh, operating system updates or the office application updates also auto patch will take care so this is the additional option to deploy the patches instead of your uh, window or this update ring in intune so now thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video